Assalamualaikum. Welcome to science class. In this lesson, we continue talking about the animal structures. This is our word wall for this week. The word amphibian is an animal uh, such as a frog that lives both on land and in water, but must produce its eggs in, in water. And birds, uh, a bird is a creature with feathers and wings, usually able to fly. A fish, an animal that lives in water and is covered with scales and breathes by taking water in through its mouth. Insect, a type of very small animal. Mammal, any animal of which the female feeds her young on milk from her own body. Reptile, an animal that crawls or moves on its belly, such as a snake, or on small and short legs, such as a turtle. And then we watch this video. All animals are living things. There are many different types of animals. Animals are grouped together based on their parts. Let's take a closer look at these groups and explore the different parts of animals. Look at these adorable puppies. They are mammals. You are a mammal. A mammal is an animal with hair or fur. All mammals also have a backbone. Some animals, like this lion, have long fur. Others, like this okapi, have short fur. Some mammals have patterns on their fur. A mammal's body can feel smooth like a sea lion or prickly like a porcupine. Mammals can have bright colors like this mandrel or they can blend into their surroundings like this cheetah. Most mammals have legs, but some have wings. Some even have fins. Birds have two legs, two wings, and feathers. Birds also have a beak. Wow, look at how long and colorful this toucan's beak is. This finch's beak is short. This albatross has long, narrow wings. This owl's wings are short and wide. Ostriches and penguins both have wings but cannot fly. Penguins can swim. Did you know a bird could swim? This parrot's feet. They have long claws. Ducks have webbed feet. Look at how different they are from this jacana's long, skinny feet. Some birds, like peacocks and Gouldian finches, have feathers with bright or bold colors. Some birds do not. Fish are animals that live in water. Fish have gills and fins. Fish gills are interesting. They help fish get oxygen out of the water, just like people get oxygen out of the air. Look at the differences in the gills of these fish. This is a red lionfish. Look at all its fins. Stingrays may not look like a fish, they are. Stingrays have a wide and round body. Some fish, like this cornet fish, are long and skinny. Look at this bubble-eyed goldfish. This fish has sacs that fill with water under its eyes. Some puffer fish are covered in spines. Have you ever seen an anglerfish? Whoa, look at its sharp, see-through teeth. And look at this. This piece that comes out over its head is part of its backbone. And the tip of it glows. Insects are animals that have three body sections and six legs. Some insects have wings, like butterflies, dragonflies, ladybugs, and bees. Look at the different shapes and colors of their wings. There are many different colors of insects. Look at how colorful this fruit fly is and this beetle. 
Look at how this lightning bug's body glows. Insects have all sorts of different shapes. Leaf bugs have flat, round bodies that look like leaves. Walking sticks have thin, long bodies that look like sticks. Reptiles are animals that have dry skin and are covered with scales. Alligators are reptiles. They are large and have four legs and four feet. Snakes are also reptiles, but do not have any legs or feet. Most turtles have webbed feet and a shell on their back. Reptiles can be very colorful. Look at this gecko. This chameleon can change the color of its body. Reptiles can be very small, like this turtle, or very big, like this Komodo dragon. Amphibians are animals that live part of their lives in water and part on land. Frogs, toads, newts, and salamanders are all amphibians. Most amphibians have smooth skin that feels wet, sticky, or slimy. Many frogs are bright and colorful. Toads usually have less color. Let's talk about some differences between reptiles and amphibians because sometimes it can be hard to tell them apart. Reptile skin is usually dry and covered in scales. Amphibian skin is usually wet and smooth. Reptiles breathe air. Amphibians can breathe air, or some amphibians can breathe underwater through their gills. Turtles have shells that protect them. Humans make equipment like helmets to protect bicyclists. This mimics a turtle's shell. How else do humans mimic animal parts? Animal parts can be very similar and very different from each other. What's your favorite animal? And what kind of amazing parts does it have? All animals. So now we talked about animal structures. This is an old sketch, a prehistoric sketch of an animal. It was done for the National Zoo in 1938. So we asked the kids, does this drawing remind you of an animal you might, you might have seen at the zoo? Um, so the, the kids already knew it was a rhinosaurus. So what structures, uh, we asked the kids, what structures do you recognize on this animal? Um, the answer could be the shape and the size of the head, the tail, the legs. It looks similar to a rhinosaurus or a rhino. Why do you think animals from long ago look like, an, um, look like animals we see around today? The animals from today might be related to the animals from long ago, and this makes them look similar. And then we discussed, do all animals have the same part? The kids uh, realized after watching the videos and learning more about animals that animals do not have the same parts. We did the book, page number 13. We answered only the first part. Make a claim. Do, you, uh, do all animals have the same parts? So circle the claim you agree with. Animals always have the same parts or animals can have different parts. So the answer is, of course, animals can have different parts. And that's the end of our lesson. Thank you for attending.